hello everyone welcome back susil this site and today we are going to start a new playlist which is on five star performance to me so as per your request i am going to start this playlist so here we will be going to understand how we can do the performance tuning inside the pipe spark so we will be going to cover each and everything so i would request you all please like the video and share to your friends and do subscribe our channel for our support so it will always motivate me to record more and more videos so let's get started with the first video so in the first video as you can see we are going to discuss about the spark query plan so this is very important so first we have to understand the internal working structure of the spark so that's why i am going to start with the spark query plan so as per this query plan you have to start from the left so first we will be going to have the data frame and the sql queries so it will be going to execute and fire so the first thing what will be happening so it will be going to create a unresolved logical plan that you can see so inside the unresolved logical plan what will be happening in the step 1 to the step 2 so step 2 is nothing but the unresolved logical plan so here it is only checking the syntax whatever we are writing inside the sql query or your data frame so it will be only checking the syntax so that is the first thing it is doing and after that it is creating the unresolved logical plan in the second step where unresolved logical plan will be going to convert to the logical plan what will be happening so inside it will be going to check your tables exist or inside the tables we should be having the columns so those columns are there or not so inside that it is required to have a catalog under that it will be checking whether that table is available or not if the table is there then it will be going to proceed further otherwise it will be failed from there so that's why here you can see we are having one of the catalog so what this catalog will do it will be containing all the information for your table names and table schema so what are the tables that we are having inside the unresolved logical plan will be going to check inside the catalog and after that spark engine will be going to create the logical plan so from unresolved logical plan to logical plan it will be converted after checking the schema and table the next step it will be going to create the optimized logical plan so it is having some of the logical optimization and after that it will be creating this optimized logical plan so what will be happening from step 3 to step 4 so basically here catalyst optimizer will come into the picture so what is the role of the catalyst optimizer for step 3 to step 4 so catalyst optimizer will be having multiple options which is doing for some of the optimization technique it will be automatically applied i am going to discuss few of those so the first thing we have the logical plan and while it is going to convert to optimized logical plan first thing it will be going to use the filter push down so what is the filter push down so for example if we are having a table and that table is having some of the sales information selection criteria we should be going to have only the data for the india in our processing but actually we are having a lot of data there so as per this catalyst optimizer will be going to automatically filter for india only so this is the first thing it is doing and it will be creating the optimized logical plan the second thing it will be going to push down the projection so what does it mean it mean if we are having 100 columns in your table and we are required to have only 5 or 6 columns or maybe 10 columns so on those scenarios it will be going to select only those required columns and remaining all the columns will be going to skip and that will not be part of your optimized logical plan so this is catalyst optimizer will be doing while going step 3 to step 4 from logical plan to optimized logical plan now the step 5 which is nothing but the physical plan so based on the optimized logical plan so based on the optimized logical plan it will be going to create multiple physical plans so here you can see multiple layers so these are the physical plans so we have 1 2 3 and so on so it will be going to create multiple physical plans so once this step is done 
then we are having some of the internal cost model for spark so by using those cost model it will be going to choose the best plan from this physical plans those are having multiple so it will be picking by considering all the factors and picking the best physical plan for that execution and after that it will be creating the rdd that you can see so from step 5 to 6 it will be using some of the cost model and then going to select the proper plan and by using this plan it will be going to proceed further and creating the rdd so these are the steps it will be followed for reaching from step 1 to step 8 so it will be doing internally by spark so i hope guys you have understood how spark query plan will work if you guys have any questions on this you can comment out here i'll try to respond there and we'll be going to see in practical how unresolved logical plan and logical plan optimized logical plan and physical plans will look like in the next video so thank you so much for watching this video 